With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello guys, in this question it is saying that the element having atomic number Z is equals to 1 and 7 and Z is equals to 1 and 9. Z is our atomic, this is the notation to uh, denote atomic number. So, one of the element having atomic number 1 and 7 and the other is 1 and 9 have been made up recently and the element with atomic number 1 and 8 has not been yet made, right? So, indicate the group number in which you will place the above element, right? So, first of all, we will write down their electronic configuration. So, there we will write the atomic number and there we will write electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, this is 107. So, this atom is having 1 and 7 uh, atomic number, which means also this having uh, 1 and 7 electrons as well. So, the uh, at electronic configuration will be Rn. Rn is having the uh, atomic number 86 here. So, now this will be going in F orbital uh, 5F14 plus there will be 6D5 and then this will be 7S2. Now, as we can see, the uh, last uh, electron is going to D orbital here. So, which means this is a uh, element of D block. This is a D block element right now we have 109 so the electronic configuration of this will be rn which is having atomic number 86 then there will be 5f14 now this is having 1 and 7 and this is 109 there are two electron increment of two electrons so this ele ele uh, electron will be going d orbital so this is 6d7 7s2 now uh, similarly, as we did in this case, there is also the last electron is going to d orbital. So, which means this is also a d block element. This is also a d block element. Now, we have to find out the, uh, this is, we have to, uh, given that this is 108. So, the electronic configuration, we don't know about it. We can write it, but uh, it is saying that it is not discovered. But uh, yes, we can write it as well. So, let's say uh, this is 108. So, this will be Rn, this is 86, now 8 electrons is there, so this will be 5F14, these are the 100, now the electron will go in D orbital, 6 uh, D, there will be 6 and there will be 7 S1. So, similarly, as we did in these two cases, electron is going to the, uh, the last electron is going to the D orbital, so this will be go in, undergoing, there will be uh, 5 S7 S2. 7s2 this will go in d block okay so whenever the uh, element is from d orbital to find out the its group number to find out group number group number of d block element d block element we have to just uh, count its uh, the number of electrons in d and s orbital the last d and s orbital so here we can see the number of electrons in last d and s orbital this is 2 this is 5 which means this is a 7 period element 7th period and here this is 7 2 this is 9th period element there this is uh, 6 2 this is 8th period element here right this is a uh, 7th group this is 9th group this is 8th group these are the group not period right this uh, it is also saying that indicate the group we have to find out group this is seventh group element this is ninth group element and this is eighth group element right so the our answer will be this uh, this one and seven is seventh group element one and nine is ninth group element and one and eight is eighth group element so this is the first method to find out these types of question uh, to find the answer of these types of question this is an, another method if whenever we get an uh, atomic number greater than 100 when atomic number is greater than 100 then we can uh, then the group number will be group number will be 100 plus x uh, this is 100 this is atomic number here atomic number this is 100 x which means uh, while taking an example we have 107 so we will write 107 is equals to 100 plus 7 
so here 7 will be the group number right what we have done is here this is same seventh group so this is seventh groups right so if we have uh, this is 107 so if we have 108 this is 107 if we have 108 there will be 100 plus 8 which means this is the eighth group element if we have 109 this will be 100 plus 9 so this is a ninth group element here this is eighth group element here as we done here now eighth ninth and seventh so this is the second method to solve these types of questions so this is answer thank you for watching best of luck and bye bye for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today